Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to analyze the metadata from these files here. And I'm doing that because I want to upload them into SharePoint with metadata. And I've already created the document library. I've already connected to SharePoint or wrote the code here to connect to SharePoint. So all that's done. If you want to see how I did that, then just go back to my previous videos. But now let's start with the analyzing the data. And I always like to define my objects as classes. So that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to do a class, and it's going to be a CV, because that's what we're working with, CV. And that class is going to have a bunch of properties. First of all, it's going to have a first name. And we need to start with a dollar there, first name. And it's going to have a last name. It's going to have a department, and it's going to have a decision that we made. All right, so all that is in the file structure. Somebody has put in a lot of work into making this consistent and correct. So, of course, we want to reuse all that information now when we put it into SharePoint. So, first of all, we want to get all the files. So, let's just take the path here, the root path, and then we're going to put all those files in a variable, all CV files. And that's going to be a get a child item. And the path that we're going to get it from is this. Let's put that in quotes just to make sure. And then we want it to be a recurse, so it goes into the subfolders also. And then we want to do only files. For some reason, it doesn't give me IntelliSense there, but this one does work, I assure you. So now let's run that and just see what we have. Yeah, let's just do all files, all CV files there, and there we see we have a bunch of them, and we can see the count. It's 270 of them. Per perfect. That's what we're working on. So now we have those files. We're going to run this bit also to introduce this class, because that's what we're going to be working with. Of course, that doesn't do anything. It just populates and introduces that class. Now we're going to do for each CV file, let's call it that file in uh, all CV files. That gives us a loop of all those objects, all those files. And then in each one of these, we're going to declare a new CV object. So let's call that CV obj, just to be crystal clear. And then we're going to set that to new object and our declared class name there, CV. Then we're going to start reading out the data. So let's, first of all, run that line of code. I run that by F8 again. Now it's CV object. There we go. That one has the IntelliSense. Great. So let's start with the decision. What did we decide? That's actually the easiest one. And that's going to be the CV file. But as you'll notice now, we do not have IntelliSense on that. And that's because it doesn't contain anything yet. But let's do a little um, code here to, to get that and to populate that object. So CV file, that is going to be the all files, CV files number zero, first one. So let's run that code now. And now you see when I type the period here, I'm going to get the proper IntelliSense. So I want the directory. And I want the name of that directory because that is, of course, what the decision is made. You see, that's the decision. So we have a file object and we're picking out the decision from the folder name. So let's do this now. And we can just do a write host to and write the um, CV object. And let's just write the decision there. So now let's run this. And we should get a bunch of yeses and nos there. So let's see. Yes, maybe no. There we go. We got some hired. Let's scroll up and see if we have some that are not hired also. Ah, right. I made a mistake. Of course, I just did the first one there. And we need to uncomment that, of course. Let's run this now. There you go. I got some higher and some maybe, some no. You saw that flickering by there. So now the code is working, and we can read the metadata of the decision. Let's continue with the three other things, the first name, last name, and department. So to get those parts, we need to split it up. We need to split the file name up. So let's do that. File name parts equals the current CV file. And just do the base name, which is just a name without the file extension. We're going to split that by this string, which is space 
hyphen like that. So let's do that. Let's try that. And then we get the file name part. Again, I try that by running the code with F8. There you see, we have it split up now. So the second part is already done. That's Europe. So that is, of course, the de department. So let's do that. So then we have the CV object. CV object. And there we go. The um, department is the file name part. And that's going to be the one object there. It's a zero base. This, the name of the person is the zero, and Europe is the one. So let's do that and just type this out now. You can see this CV object department. And let's put a space in there. There we go. And then we need to set a parentheses around all that to just get out the data and see that it works as it should. I always like to do this. I uh, test one row at a time and see if everything works. Then I know my mistakes early and can fix them early. There we go. You get the, the decision first, of course, as before, and then you get the, the department also. So now we have two of those. Now we just need to split out the name of the person. Let's clear the screen and then look at the file name parts. The first one there is, of course, the last name, comma, space, uh, last name. So now we want to split that out also. So let's do that. And let's do name parts. And that's going to be the file name parts, the first in the array there. That's the last name and first name. And we're going to split that also. And we're going to split that by the string comma space. That's what we're using, right? So that should do it. Let's try this and run that name parts. There we have them for last name and first name. Great. So let's put that into my object and the CV object. The last name is going to be the name parts zero. Uh, let's copy that and do the first name. Right. That should be it. Then we can, instead of just typing this out now, we can do this instead and we can just convert the whole object to a CSV file or a CSV string. So let's do that, convert to CSV, and, and then we have the CV object right there. Let's see how that works. All right. So now we have all the information there. We should have first name, last name, department, decision. Running all of this code now. It looks good, doesn't it? We have the information out, we have it in our object, and now we've populated that object from the file system. So now we have it, the information structured and in our own object. Next step is to upload all of this information into SharePoint. Thank you for watching this demo.